Hello everybody, today we are here to study about the morphology of a flower so we can see that this is a flower and it is having five petals. These petals are free. So this flower is a polypetalous flower and we can see there are three sepals. These sepals are fused, not free. These sepals are fused. So this is a gamosepalous flower. Now we'll see that these petals are in an twisted estivation. In a twisted estivation, you can see these petals are overlapping each other in an orderly manner. So this is having a twisted estivation. Now we'll see the reproductive part of the flower. So this is the only reproductive part of this flower. Now we can see that there are many anthers but first we'll have a look to the carpel or ovary. We can see that there is one carpel which is visible. But let me tell you that this is not only one carpel, this is having five carpels. One, two, three, four, five. Actually this is a fused ovary. This is called syncarpus ovary. Now we will have a look on the anthers we can see it's quite complicated and we'll take a bunch we can see that anthers are in bunches here one two three four and five and within the bunches also these are fused in the groups of two so here are ten in one so here are five bunches so fifty are on the peripheral part and inside also we can see apart from the bunches of the peripheral part inside also there are three anthers in front of every bundle so approximately 15 anthers are surrounding the ovary or the carpel but these are not fused to the ovary so here we can find that there are almost 65 anthers in this flower we can also see from here that this ovary is a superior ovary. All the other floral appendages, anthers, sepals or the petals arise lower to the ovary. Ovary is superior.